Right, this is one that's just come in, uh, 17 reg. Uh, I think that's done about 68,000, something like that. Might have done a fraction more. Um, you know, well looked after thing. Uh, that's been sitting under the tree for about two weeks, so I've got to get around to sort of doing the job on it. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's that one. That's going to be sort of, you know, I don't know, somewhere around about 16 mark. Um, Right, let's go over here. We got a, this is a 16 reg. Now this is a 1600 six speed. Um, we're just uh, doing a camshaft job on it. Well, it, 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 what it did, it broke a cam belt. Uh, it missed the cam belt change. Uh, so we're just doing a, a recon head on it and everything. That'll all be sorted. Uh, again, only just come in. A uh, guy just came up and bought a new one I got. So. That's that one. That one done. Uh, so it's fairly good spec one. That that's going to be around the sort of 16 mark. Um, I'll just do a, show you the order, which is the. This is electric. Uh, it's not quite finished yet. Uh, so it's uh, holds a little bit more than a Doblo. Shut the bonnet. This is the bit of kit. Um, made nice and lovely interior with it. Uh, now I'll just show you the inside. Bearing in mind, this hasn't got any doors on it um, on the on the inside. Uh, it's got an extra shelf on both sides because it starts off lower down, so it's got quite a uh, a lot of sort of space in that. So there's loads of bits in here. So we've still got it in pieces. Um, I'll just show you the non set of side. This also, um, this bit at the back here is a spare oven. Again, not got the, uh, the doors on it yet, but uh, we've offered that as an option on nearly all of our new builds now. So you can have a spare oven for the uh, pre-solds. Uh, so large chilled area as well. So full of all the stuff we were still in build really. But this was a pre-production prototype vehicle. Um, uh, one of the first in the country. Um, so we've, we've gone right through the cab. There were certain things about the cab that weren't right because it had been converted from left to right hand drive. The production ones obviously will be sorted. Uh, it's got no, no dashboard in it at the moment. Uh, we're waiting for that to come. Um, right, I'll just take you around the front. Um, they've got quite a lot of Doblos at the moment. A lot of people, they just, you know, so they do change them sort of every five years, regular as clockwork. Um, so that's a customer's one there that's uh, just in for repair. Right, the little electric one here. So we put plastic doors on these. Now this one, what we do is we nick the aircon unit out of the cab. So there's no aircon in the cab, but we actually modify it and uh, put it put it in the back uh, and that works to treat that does that is actually a, the chilled area the serve area very much got four shells not three that uh, is about five percent less capacity than a Doblo but the hot on the back is actually three percent more so that's your hot side and what we've done, we've done it so you can actually look through the side here so people don't nick anything or anything like that. Um, so this is our prototype that we just built. Uh, this one will only do about 50 miles, but to say the production ones, they're, they're going to do sort of, you know, at least 80 miles, at least 80 miles. Uh, right, cute little thing. Uh, great for around town. Right, this is one of the 28,000 mile ones that came in. Came from the same customer. Um, bought them five year ago and uh, believe it or not the difference in mileage between the two vehicles was nine miles so uh, this one's got a little tiny bit of damage on it it's got a little scrape just here which will replace that skin uh, I, think, I think the rest of it is quite good um, so it's real very very tiny vehicle so Considering the job they've done, uh, like most of them, they've got dings all over them, but this really good. So that's that's one of them. Um, 
Right, this one is, this is my X demo. Notice this is a maxi, so this is this is slightly longer. This is one of the current spec ones. Um, oven's just slightly larger. Uh, it's got little things like fold down, cold blinds and stuff like that. And they've got a bigger shelf on the side, uh, straps on the side. A lot of these things can be retrofitted to the others anyway. But I can't let that one go for a couple of months because it's, 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 it's due to be out on a contract. It's got special things like the you know, colour coding pump and stuff like that. And it's got air personal number on it at the moment, but that'll go back. That's one of the last Doblos that we're getting in that's already sold, that's got to be converted yet. This is how they come, they come with a pickup when they come to us. Um, this is our new Toyota Pro Ace vehicle. Um, so I'll just show you in this one. very big truck this one again four shelves there as a spare oven on the other side as well and uh, an area where it parked but there's a spare oven here uh, you got your uh, your hand wash area they've still got some uh, lots of shelves in there to put in your your knickknacks and cleaning materials three shelves on the non-serve side like these well i've got one more chassis for these left at the old price they're going to be about thirty-eight thousand plus vat um the next ones are going to be tipping over the sort of 40 mark more like about 43 so already told us they're going up about five grand uh, but they're going to be that's about three months delivery on a new one of them uh this is the other 67 reg uh done twenty-eight thousand miles um so almost a mint vehicle this uh, i think in all honesty i think if it was uh, if it was detailed i don't think you'd know it from a new one there's just a little bit of damage on that rear corner which will be changed a uh, little few little dings in the sill there which would change um yeah 20 out there, that's gonna be 17 plus back got another 17 reg one here um just trying to think where that one is from. That's uh, that's done sixty-eight thousand miles. That's going to be sort of down in the sort of you know fifteen grand mark. Uh, I've also got another sixty-seven reg, which is actually out on loan at the moment. To somebody um, again. That's a I think that's done forty-two thousand. That one. Uh, that's going to be sort of around the sixteen and a half, sixteen seven fifty. Um, that's one of our taxi ones. That's the one we just keep as a sort of a demo to show people. Um, unfortunately, done about three hundred thousand miles, but you know it just shows what they are. Um, this was that DFSK that I was telling you about. That's only done twenty-three thousand. It's got an engine and gearbox. It's only done uh, thirty-four miles. Um, got a load of sort of part exchanges here, which. Uh, we sort of just get them on and clear them out. Um, right, I'll just go and show you another electric one we're doing. This is um, in its build stage at the moment. Uh, this is a Max C Delib 3. Um, so it's just, you say, it literally is, is in the skeleton form at the moment. Um, it's, we just took it down the Weybridge to uh, make sure we were coming in with intolerance. But very nice sort of vehicle um, but these are pretty dear that's going to be you know you're going to be in a region of about 52,000 plus VAT for that um, that's got a very good range uh, that does about 170 miles that one uh, got a five five kilowatt so it's not it's nowhere near sort of completed yet but uh, this sort of stage we have to check on weights and things like that um, Another one there, but that's another Pro Ace in build. Uh, it's a very special one that's been built, so it'll carry uh, 24 full size uh, gastronomic dishes. It's to uh, feed all the Ukrainians and the Syrians in the hotels. Uh, anyway, that's where we are at the moment. Um, this is the back end of that uh, Pro Ace, so very good looking vehicle. That. Um, it carries, this, this actually carries, I would think, almost double 
what the Jiffy version carries. Um, so it's the highest capacity um, vehicle on the market. There's nothing that gets it close to that. Um, so anyway, give us a ring, let me know. You can ring me any time up until sort of nine o'clock at night. Uh, I'm not bothered about that any day of the week um, if you want to discuss anything. All right, cheers, mate. Thank you, buddy.